Hello there and welcome to a quick and easy tutorial on lip syncing to audio in Blender. I'm Irish Jack and I'm going to help to guide you from start to finish to get the results you see here. It is by no means perfect or even professional, but it works for me and gets the job done. So let's get started. So I'm using Blender version 3.0, but this will work in any version. We start by getting the character ready. Now the character I use for my competition announcements is a character I made myself. So you can either source a character online, or you can make something yourself. For this tutorial, I'm going to use a puppet style character that I made. And now, once you have your character in Blender, we will be adding shape keys to them. With your character selected, go down to the object data properties, and where it says shape keys, we are going to press the plus button to create a new one. By default, this is called basis, but we can double click to rename it to closed mouth. Now press the plus button again, and we can call this one open mouth. With the open mouth shape key selected, we can now in edit mode, edit the model into the position we want the shape key to represent. So we'll open his mouth as much as you would want it to be open, as if he was shouting loud. And that's it. But before finishing this part, hover over the open mouth shape key and press I to add a keyframe. This is so it shows up later in the graph editor. Now we have to think about the audio we'll be using. For me, with this character, I record myself talking with audacity and output that to mp3, but you can use whatever works for you. Now we have to bring that audio into Blender. First of all, make sure that we are at the start of the timeline at frame number one. Then we switch from the timeline window to the video sequencer window. From this window, we can just drag and drop in the audio file, or you can just click add and then navigate and select the file. Now for the final part, syncing the audio with the mouth open shape key. First we switch from the video sequencer to the graph editor. With your shape key still selected, we should see on the left the label value open mouth. Select this and in the key option, select the bake sounds to F curve option. Again, navigate to your audio file and select it. Now we can see that the mouth is moving, but it may not be opening enough for you. If it is, well done, you're finished. But if you want the mouth movements to be bigger, there's one more step. Drag your timeline slider to a point at which the graph is active. This is where the character is talking. We now need to add a modifier to increase this, which will give it more of an effect on the shape key. Press N to open the side panel and press the modifiers tab. In the drop down menu, click the envelope modifier. Now you can see add control point option, click it. The only values you'll be changing here is the second and third value. The amount you will be changing them will depend on your character. But however much the second value goes down, the third one has to go up. So if the second value is minus three, then the third value has to be plus three. Your goal here is to have the highest point in the graph around two. For me, it works out at around minus 5.5 and plus 5.5. And that's it. Your character's and mouth will be moving in sync with your audio. If you have any troubles with this, please don't hesitate to ask, or you can join our Blender competition Discord server and ask me there. Thanks for watching. Bye.